Do you know what the Nixie mindset is? I'll tell you all about it in this episode of Tactical Tidbits. Howdy folks, Herman from Alpha One here. Please like, comment, share, and follow so that I can help as many people as possible be safer. All right, now as we know, mindset is the base of the personal defense hierarchy. That being the case, we're going to revisit this topic often and today is no exception. Now to illustrate the point that I wanna get across in this episode, I want you to join me in a quick mental exercise. Let's say that you found yourself alone in a deserted island. In this scenario, you were on a plane that went down in the Pacific and you survived and washed up on a, the deserted island in the middle of the ocean. Now, for this discussion, let's put aside how you would feel as that would be an issue better addressed by talking about fear and fear management, all that stuff. Here, I just want to focus on the practical aspects of the situation, all right? what would be the first thing you would do? Think about how you would prioritize what you needed to do in order to survive what could be weeks, months, years, even the rest of your life. Visualize what that would look like. Got it? Okay. Now, imagine a similar scenario, except that when you wash up on the shore and you come to, you see the plane's black box sitting right next to you. In other words, you make the assumption that someone is going to find you. After all, within hours of losing contact with an airplane, you know, a huge elaborate process is unleashed by the airline, the plane manufacturer, you know, nearby governments, etc., in order to locate the, uh, the lost plane. It would probably be only a matter of days for you to be found. Again, forget about how you would feel. Of course, you would be more hopeful and in better spirits in this scenario than in the previous one. The question is, how would you act differently? I think most people would do things differently in these two scenarios. In practical terms, if we knew we might be in the island for an extended period of time, the types of resources we would look for and how deep into the island we would be willing to go to find them would vary greatly from the scenario in which we would only expect to be there for you know, a few days. In the latter case, we would probably just look at our immediate surroundings for what we could use to survive for the next couple of days and you know, focus on staying visible on the shoreline for the searching planes and ships. The actions in both of these scenarios are neither right nor wrong. However, I would argue that the mindset and approach of the first scenario would yield you better results in both cases than the mindset and approach on uh, the second. After all, what if in the second case, it turns out that unbeknownst to you, the black box is damaged beyond repair and no one ever shows up? At some point, you would have to get into the same mindset as the first scenario, except that at that point, you might be you know, too weak to carry out the necessary actions to be able to survive. Now, this mental exercise is merely an allegory to highlight what I call the Nixie mindset. Nobody is coming to save you. Now, at first glance, you, this might look like you know, a negative or fatalistic attitude, but it's just the opposite. Embracing a Nixie mindset empowers us to take our fate into our own hands and do whatever needs to be done to get through a challenge. In fact, if we assume that nobody's coming to save us, this will motivate us to prepare before any given challenge or emergency emerges. That's not to say that you know, there aren't people out there like first responders whose job it is to try and help you. It's simply that, like the two scenarios I, I, that we just looked at, we would be better served in both cases by having the mindset of the first one. Similarly, when we talk about personal defense, if we come to terms with the fact that we are our own first responders, we will behave differently than if we expect others to rescue us when in trouble. Make sense? Well, if you consider yourself your own first responder and that of your loved ones, check out our class schedule at alpha1tactical.com and join us to learn some first responder strategies and skills. There's no better time to be prepared than today. 
See you next time.